right here we go we're moving um, it's on time so they've arrived at 11 o'clock uh, disembarked passengers and we got on board and it's oh, 11.05 11.06 so right on time so can't complain about their efficiency and this is the view of the port so there's coin tower over there We'll see how fast they go, how many knots they go. <laughs> so there are the other ferry walls. Okay, my phone doesn't like the zooming thing. So a lot of uh, ships waiting there in the horizon.
not sure. If, I think that might be prison. So I think that's San Quentin prison. I just have to look at it on Google Maps later on. Um, and there's another one of the northern cities over there. But uh, Parkland. And this is what it's looking like.
cars. It's like the Oakland Bay Bridge. Got it. Woo! Let's see. We'll see some of the lattice smoke. Okay. Here we go. Lattice smoke. Oh, it's a V-shape. Yeah. Okay. Bay. And um, yeah, I'll see 
Surprising, we may have entered more shallow waters because the ferry has slowed down significantly. I'm not sure if this is a wetland or marshes of some sort. There are some houses over there, well, um, buildings, and I wonder if they were naval. Oh, yes, of course, because the Yeho has, um, has strong links to the war apparently. I don't know, um, I'll have a look, but these are marshes just ahead of us. And so we have significantly slowed down. Since we entered that promontory that you see there, we have slowed down. So, so I suppose we are going up Napa River. Hey, this might be Napa River. There we go. I am speculating, of course. My geography of this area is pretty basic. <laughs> Except what I've seen on the maps. But yeah, so this is it. We have slowed down significantly and over here on this side you've got the factories and there is the river are we going there hey there's a barge hey see. it's almost like the Canada river
Was it because of the barge? Can't see any boys. Yeah. I the way they slow down for. the bridge. No, we're not going to the bridge, but there is the bridge. Okay, so we are entering one part, so this must be a different bridge. Yeah. So we have slowed down. I wish they had, you know, signs that said what the speed is on the along here. Ooh. Let's see if I can capture some bird life. What kind of bird are you, mate? like a no you're not going oh you're coming in because of the wash the boat's making I hope you find some fish anyway here it is there's the bridge and here again is <laughs> you know I thought or I heard there were oyster leases but they're not actually oyster leases they're just you know one of those broken bits and pieces. Anyway, and um, that might be Vallejo. So who knows? So sorry, Vallejo. Or, you know, I would pronounce it as Vallejo. But, uh, I'm still looking. A significant bird life, but I can't seem to find one, so never mind. Oh, there's another bridge over there. some waterfront homes I think so I suspect the story behind them that you know um, there were once fishermen's cottages they had a they had a boat at the front and the only way you could go in was by water so um, I'm sure they're expensive in waterfront I don't know what it is but I do understand why they're here because it's what I'm not liking though is the possible landslide issue just up there. But, uh, there is the risk that you take when you live near the 
probably should buy her, restore it. Yeah. So yes, I think we are nearing the town of Vallejo. And um, I think these are probably more army buildings, just the way they look. The ones that we have, they're on pylons. They look quickly built, done and dusted. So anyway, um, this is, I think, near Vallejo now. Vallejo. And, um, and there is a little grand romance there at the entrance. I wonder if she was an icon of the city. The city should, you know, fix her up and take tourists like me on board. We'd love to go on board and just wander around and get added a cruise to it. Um, it still looks as if it's salvageable, you know, there's so much that you should use for it. Just need a, a good steward to love them. And uh, Seagull here, you know, you can imagine fixing this waterfront place eventually. Uh, but this seems to be the industrial area and there's some nice houses on top. Okay, I can't really zoom. There's some nice houses on top there. There we go. Yeah, so we have slowed down now. I don't think we're going to go any faster. So I suppose this is like the river service really, you know, you reach a point, I think, after Silver Water Bridge, and then the ferry just slows down. Although this goes faster than the ferry. Um, I think the river service only does five knots, and this one is definitely faster than that because it is shallow waters over there, and these are deeper waters here. But look at that, these are the craft. They still build ships or they're just carrying cargo about. But uh, it is very calm here. Very calm. Super calm. I am surprised there are no fish. So what does that mean? Are the waters polluted here? You know, you'd expect in such a wide area, wide river, that there'd be fishermen. That's a thought. Maybe there are no fish up here. So this is very much industrial. Lots of cranes. Oh my gosh, it's a crane haven when you think about it. Lots and lots of cranes. Lind Marine. Okay, so this must be owned by Lind Marine. Maybe a Swedish background, Lind. It makes sense. And oh, I think there's a naval boat there. Naval boat up there. And I'll just go to the other side. A couple of World War II hangars. And this must be the city of Vallejo. And you've got some waterfront homes around here. Cookie cutter shape. It's not too bad. Like any town that's not facing the forces of nature as much, this is a secluded town. So yeah, I mean I'm sure the urban sprawl is big here, but uh, yeah, it's not a bad place so far. And there are cranes here. There's a US naval boat 102 moored here. Maybe it's getting fixed or cleaned. What's that one? Interesting looking uh, boat here. If you like your boat and like to see boats, it's over here. Uh, National Geographic Service? 
shore and I just saw a sign that here on the right that you see is actually Mare Island Naval Shipyard. So it is definitely a shipyard, a massive shipyard like Cockatoo Island. Oh well, bigger than Cockatoo Island because you know Americans tend to do bigger things. But um, you can imagine a boat here being built and then taken out. So lots of, uh, I suppose, still US Navy assets here. But you can see how that's done. And I don't know who that is, maybe a Port Authority? Can't see the sign. Anyway, uh, but yeah, not the San Francisco Bay Ferry, and this is the Navy ship. This is Vallejo. Okay, well, welcome to Vallejo. Should probably go down before I get taken down. But this is their wharf. This is Vallejo Wharf. Very wee and quiet compared to the port of San Francisco, as it should. Wow, that was a nice trip.